made a mess of things, and Maven's furious. I told you not to burn more than three of the hives. I've smoothed things over with her for now, but you can forget your cut. At least you remembered one of the things I asked. Let me see that. Arangoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Until next we meet, lad. Arangoth sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? He has no idea the extent of Maven's... If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Don't sound so eager. It's not a social visit. It's business. That's between you and Maven, and I prefer to keep it that way. Just keep your ears open and your mouth shut, and you'll do fine. So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. Faith. I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidary that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. One I've been looking time, for you. Got clear. something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands you only. Will be sorry. Let's see here. There's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. The owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Shouldn't you be on your way to Whiterun?
This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. And here you are. Good. Come in. Browse the display and let's talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Those robes were worn during the Mythic Dawn's secret meetings, where they plotted to bring the Daedra Mehrunes Dagon into Tamriel. Each bolt of yarn used to make the robe was colored with a dye made from sacrificial blood. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mystic Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Mehrunes Dagon himself. The commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes were written by the Mythic Dawn cult leader, Mankar Cameron. He promised a paradise awaited his followers when they died, that they would be reborn by Merun Stagon's side. Did you have any questions about the museum, or would you rather talk business? A little history first. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost 150 years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group. And they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. And the third owner, Jorgen. I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Good luck finding the fragments.